Hi everybody! So today's focus is going to be checking out Nowax Cleaning Paste. So I have a lot of friends that use Norwex products and a few friends who actually sell the products. I've purchased some myself too. So I've purchased, um, I have the cleaning paste, I have an Enviro cloth, I have a dusting mitt, a bathtub scrubber, the mop system. I have a, a bunch of different things. The cleaning paste is my newest addition that I have and I'm just curious to see how well it actually works. What I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna run around the house and clean many different places with my cleaning paste uh, and give you a review, let you know how well I think it works. Before I get started, I should know how to even use the Norwax paste. It does say it cleans, polishes, and protects in one application. You can use it on chrome, plastic, ceramic, porcelain tiles, and similar materials. The active ingredients are marble, flour, a natural soap, and traces of coconut oil. So I'm just going to go over the directions on how to use. It says to take a damp Norwex microfiber cloth and dab it into the cleaning paste jar two or three times. Rub it on the surface you want to clean and polish. Rinse with water and dry with clean, dry microfiber cloth. Very simple. I did look up uh, different ways and places to use it. So on the Norwex website, it tells you you can clean walls and flooring, kitchen countertops, appliances, stoves, pots, pans, bathroom sinks, faucets, whole bunch of things, okay? And I'll put a link to their um, page in the description. I also found this site that I really like, and I'll put a link to this in the description too, is 35 ways to use Norwex cleaning paste. Uh, I thought it'd just give me some new ideas to try it out. I'm not affiliated with this link at all, this person, but I just liked her site. So I will put it, a uh, link to that in the description. I'll also put a link to my friend's uh, business page if you're interested in purchasing Norwex stuff because I love her and I support her. And if you are interested in buying some stuff, feel free to hit her website up and get something. Let's start with a place that I think is gonna be the hardest for this cleaning paste, and that's the bathroom sink stain. I think these are like hard water stains that I have um, behind the faucets. So I um, use a toothbrush to try to really get into the uh, areas and really scrub it really well. seen these before and afters that the cleaning paste did an okay job of removing some of that like hard water stain. I think it can do better in other areas though. Next up I'm gonna test the cleaning paste in my really gross bathtub. So we have one bathroom. There's myself, my husband, and um, a 16 year old, 13 year old, and 11 year old boys. I have let the tub get really gross so I can test it. And oh my God, you guys, it's so gross. I'm like literally embarrassed to show you how gross my tub looks. So I'm really hoping cleaning paste worked well. I have a couple of other videos I'm working on with some other products to clean the tubs too. So I was like, oh, let's just let it get really nasty and dirty and test some stuff out. First up though, is gonna be the cleaning paste. Okay, there's a good before, so gross. stripe that I just scrubbed. It's pretty impressive. I think the cleaning paste worked really well on my tub. So let's try to see if the cleaning paste can take off crayon that's on a table. If you've watched my Clean Boss review, um, part of it in their infomercials, they draw a crayon on a table and the clean boss like cleans it right up. And that didn't happen when I tested it. So I still have a bunch of crayon on a table. So I'm gonna see if the cleaning paste can take care of that. Okay, so here's my little wooden plant table um, that has the crayon drawn on it. Let's see if the cleaning paste can take care of it. <music> The 
cleaning paste totally took care of the crayon that was on the plant table. Let's see how the cleaning paste works in the kitchen. Let's start in the kitchen sink. So you can see that before there's a lot of water stains and it's actually this hard water stain here and it's just kind of a grimy, dull looking sink. Let's check out the stovetop. Okay, the stovetop definitely could be cleaned. Next up for the cleaning paste, let's try the boot tray area in my front entryway that gets all sorts of scuff marks on it from boots. Next, let's see if the cleaning paste can clean my Ninja Foodie like mesh cover here. I think the cleaning paste does a really, really good job. When I'm looking for cleaning products, I'm looking for something that'll make my life easier because I have an injured shoulder and forearm. I'm sure if you watch my other videos, you're probably sick and tired of hearing me talk about my shoulder, but I am always looking to things to make my cleaning life easier. So I was least impressed with the cleaning paste ability to clean those hard water areas on my kitchen and bathroom faucet. I'm not certain if the reason why those aren't getting really clean is because I don't have arm strength, so I can really scrub, scrub, scrub hard, or if it's just one of those things where I need to use a more caustic chemical to take care of, which I don't want to, but I still have to find a different kind of cleaner to get those areas clean. Everything else that I used the cleaning paste on, I was really impressed with. I like it a lot. I think it did a great job removing the, those scuff marks and the dirt from, um, the, where our boot trays are. That was fantastic. The stove top did a great job. Uh, the Ninja Foodie greasy grill mesh cover did an awesome job. Shining the sink, fantastic job. Doing the bathtub scum, really great job. So all in all, I'm super happy with the Norwalk cleaning paste. So if there's a product that you want me to test out, let me know. Put it in the comment section. If I have it at home, I will most certainly uh, do a review or show you how I use it. I really appreciate you being here. So please remember to like, share, and subscribe, and have yourselves a great day.